Today, we're going to show you five things you can do with the Lapsus Os, a four-channel attenuator, attenuverter, and offset from noise engineering. The Lapsus Os can generate voltage to control several CV inputs of other modules in your case all at once. On one of the channels, set the switch to unipolar, which generates a 0 to 5 volt signal. Patch the two outputs to two CV inputs, such as the ones on the Manus and Ataraxic Ateritas. Adjusting the faders allow you to control the amount of voltage going to both inputs at the same time. If you repeat this with all four channels, you can control up to eight CV inputs at once. With the Lapsus OS, you can attenuate envelopes to create modulation patterns on the fly. First, send a couple of trigger patterns into the envelope generator, such as the Pons Asinorum. Adjust the envelope shapes, then send those outputs into the attenuation inputs on the Lapsus OS, marked by an X. Send those to a couple of CV inputs on your oscillator. Use the faders to adjust how much of that envelope signal goes through each channel. The Lapsus OS has an offset input for each channel, and here's how to use it. Add an envelope to one of the offset inputs, which is marked by a plus. Then, patch out to a CV input on an oscillator. Here we'll use the low-pass filter input on the Manus. The offset signal will give you control of what voltage you'll start at. Then, as you slide the fader up, you're adjusting the voltage in addition to the envelope already coming in from the offset. Did you know the Lapsus OS is reversible? You may like having faders below the input jacks, and we hear ya, which is why we made it easy to play it upside down. Not only do we have two sets of numbers on the panel, but you can also reverse the direction of the fader LEDs. Simply unplug your module, flip the four tiny switches on the back, plug it back in, and you're good to go. The Lapsus OS is a modulation routing beast. Here's a patch using all of the LO's channels used a bit differently as we patch with the Horologic Solum, the Jam Jam, Curses at Teratos Presido, Electus Versio, and Sono Abitus. Channel 1 sets the probability of triggers passing through the Jam Jam. Channel 2 sets the time on the CIP with a gate added to the attenuator input. Channel 3 adjusts the mode on the CIP with a gate added to the offset input. Channel 4 adjusts voltage to both the edge and the master blaster. These are just a few of the many ways you can patch with the Lapsus OS. For more information on this module, visit noiseengineering.us. Join us next time when we look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh.